Hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it! That's enough. Huh? It's over. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! Just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said. Let's get this started, then. The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless it's voting time! Well, I'm not losing my friend that's a girl. However, it is definitely a much weirder feeling having to execute boyfriend. in this manifest. God, I'm gonna have to read this too. <laughs> Shit. It seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Well, well, if the culprit's gonna confess, <laughs> then I guess even morons can't screw this up. Absolutely. The black and new kill Kokichi Oma is Kaido Momoda. You all got it right! Hmm. Uh, so you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Makiro voted for me. <laughs> what a relief! Well,. I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know... But man, was it hard to act like Kokichi that whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines, but... Jeez. Seriously, look at this huge script. He, he wrote the whole thing. It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. Huh. 
But even so, I still had to ad lib. You guys couldn't tell though, huh? Come on, man. Come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why? Why did you kill Kokichi? You are against the killing game. So why did you kill him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. She was protecting Kaido. Or just believing in him like me. That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it is just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Then he told me I had to cooperate with his plan. Hey! Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of a plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind! Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I, I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it, but, you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like the remote control. I had Mew make it. The mysterious message in the courtyard using Gonta and making him a murderer. All of that was preparations just to make you think I was the mastermind. What, what the hell? Why would you do that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind Shit! was so I could end this boring killing game huh? to end it yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth that you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore I thought it would end the killing game but instead this happened and I'm gonna die by Maki's hands why do you think this happened why do you think Maki tried to kill me why do you think this killing game started again what why because the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks to that, everything is ruined. Hold on. The true mastermind instigated it. So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maki's actions too. Disappointed. Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. What? My actions were instigated by the true mastermind? But, but, but that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Yeah, the scary, scary flashback lights. Could it be? Maybe ma or making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had to see use the flashback light so we could target Kokichi as a remnant of despair. Which means. So the flashback light itself was a, a, the true mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kokichi once they rem we remember he was a remnant of despair. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it. That's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather convenient for the true mastermind. A person claiming to be the mastermind just so happening to be the remnant of despair. We're all students of Hope Peaks Academy and our fates are tied to the remnants of despair. I would never have imagined that, that fate would bring us to Koki or that the fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. I didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for you. I mean, anyway, like I was saying, you know, then who is the true mastermind? Hmm. Who knows? I don't know either. But... but it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. Huh? I don't really get it, but is this plan to throw off the mastermind? Yeah. Well, it's not that difficult, Kaido. I need you <laughs> to kill me. What? I mean... The plan was to make it so the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he would mess up. If he ruled that either Maki, Roll, or Kokichi were the black end, then I'd show myself and Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, 
and the killing game would end. But that's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Blackened was? And then this is what he said. Well, you know. Even if Monica was the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Yeah. Death games are meant to be watched. If no one was watching, then there'd be no reason to be such a stickler about the rules. There would be no point in making this a game in the first place. But... But Monica has been such a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monica was aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. What did you say? So this is some kind of show? What? But who would be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. The flashback light is the reason we even remember that. Yeah. But Kokichi might have been right. We Why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about that at first, but after the class trial, there's no Listen doubt. Monokuma can do whatever. He can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong and re why he relied on Suichi. Yeah. It's just like Kokichi said. If the game's rules matter so much, someone has to be watching. A death game is made to be watched? If that's true, then who? Who's watching this? Hey. What is this all about, Monokuma? Is the killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> who can say? <laughs> Why won't you tell us? We, we're, we were friends during the trial. Oh Honestly, I was just so happy that you guys decided to cooperate with me. Well. Humans love to help. They jump in at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well then here's another question. Who are you really if Kokichi, a remnant of despair, is not the mastermind? Then who's the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of despair like him? Ahem. I'm not gonna spill the beans on the perfect to be continued cliffhanger like that. Why are you just too cute? What? Really? Hey. I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree with, or to work with him, Kaido? Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because you, he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyway. Yeah. It was kind of a, a hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? What? Jeez. I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you? Don't screw around. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. Oh, I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if the poison kills me, then Maki would become the black end. And her crime would be exposed so easily. Well, you know. And if that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? Damn it. That's you? playing dirty. So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There's no depth that I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, our chance. This is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing and that game. is why you have to kill me. So we can win and ruin the killing game. So we'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. <laughs> we'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. <laughs> oh, crap. I'm gonna die soon. Can we get started already? Damn. You seriously are crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know, I, I wasn't boring, was right? Boring, right? That punk. Then he blackmailed you by using me? Uh, no. I agreed to his plan once I heard the words ruin this killing game. Geez. He was crazy, but... That let him come up with some crazy plans. And we needed a crazy plan in order to stand any chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance I didn't have any other choice. Damn it. Because I'm out of time. What? Time? Could it be? Kaido, 
You mean your health. What are you talking about? You said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. He was lying the whole time, girl. That's what all my boyfriends do anyway. They lie about their problems and they'll tell me and then I'm like, talk to me about your problems or I'll drag it out of you. And then they never talk to me about it and then it's bad and then, yeah. So he was lying to you, girl. It's fine. My bad. That, unfortunately, was a lie. Huh? A lie? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, it can't be. But you know. But I... Gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he's fine during the medical exam, then that means Could it be this might be the virus. What? Virus? If I remember correctly. One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus created by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hope Speak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we almost got wiped out in an instant. Could it be... This must have... This must have something to do with the virus. Kaido didn't use the flashback right light, so he might not remember it. But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't... Well... Well, perhaps the virus was dormant when you were selected for the gopher project. Tell you, the truth. you could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. What did you say? What? <sighs> it kind of was infected with the virus. But how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I knew this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know... But you know... When I found out about the plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so Kokiji left me with a whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. It was a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but who knew should Shuichi she see right through it in the end? <laughs> or, but I knew Shuichi would see right through it in the end. Well what? done. Well, <laughs> that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You really are something. Well then. Kaido, did you? That's right. Yeah. I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie to you like that. Even if it messed stuff up during the trial, I knew Shuichi would see the truth. That's my sidekick. And that's what I would expect from my why? sidekick. Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then? If you knew it was pointless from the start, then you shouldn't have gone that far. Nah. Nah. It wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. What does that mean? Why? I mean... Because of this, Kokichi's pretending to be the... Or this plan and Kokiji pretending to be the mastermind. We got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Behind the truth, there's got to be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? The real truth. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's why I gave. Or Kokichi gave his life. But. You talk as if he was your partner when you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts, certainly. And honestly, I'm still pissed off with him. He made us go through so much crap. To, to the end? No. Even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. <laughs> Damn. It's getting harder to breathe, so... Please, can you... Hey, so... Hey, can I ask you one thing? You want to ruin this killing game, but... You kept saying how fun this game was. That was a lie. Obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? Shit. I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. Huh? You little. <sighs> the bastards who created this game to toy with our lives and the shits enjoying it. They all piss me off. Shit! And that's why. Why am I willing to do whatever it takes to end this game? Huh? Kokichi said that? That could have been a lie, too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been an honest truth. It's a lie! No, it was definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. <laughs> I wonder which one it is. A lie or a truth. Even now, at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. But maybe he... What's... Are, but maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth 
is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. That pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally. <laughs> Heidi do apologize to Shuichi. Huh? What? Me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You were just way too cool, and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong. Hey. No, Kaido, that's not true. Hey. I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaido. You made me your sidekick. You said that you'd take the responsibility. And that... That's why I can do all of this. If you didn't take me back then... I even... Or, if you didn't talk to me back then... Even now I'd be... Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh. Kaido. Kaido! What? Kaido, are you okay? Uh, how can I be okay? I'm ab about to die. Okay. You sure are, Buckaroo! It's punishment time! Uh. Punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. I won't let you kill Kaido. No. Oh, you planning to get in my way? You know what'll happen if you do that, don't ya? So I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyway from the start. Indeed. Yes. I've been I I've been determined to fight back for a while now. No, stop. Kaito. No, Kaido, I can't. I can't let you die, Kaido. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying, and I won't let Monokuma touch you. What was so funny? Hey, hey! Oh, just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? Huh? What? Hmm. When a life ends, the closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then the closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice. If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey. What are you talking? Hey! All right, kids! Time for your grand re-entrance! Rise and shine, your sign! With our powers combined, we are the Monocast! Huh? Two. I... I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell it, it's Monotaro. What the? That's totally a lie. By the way, what the hell's going on? I could have swore there was more use or more abuse chumps before. Hell yeah! Fuck it! No, I know. Let's destroy Monotaro now. That sad sack of a bumming is, or that sad sack is bumming me the fuck out. We don't touch Monotaro. I don't care if it's Monotaro 2.0, Mono Kid. We don't touch Mon at all. What did you say? What the? Weren't all the Monocubs completely destroyed? Hey, um... oh, the old Monocubs were destroyed. These Monocubs are the latest model. They still got their are they still got their factory settings, so in a way, they're like brand new characters. Thank you so But who cares? Now my cubs are back! I'm not lonely and miserable anymore! Brought them back on a whim like that? You guys. Oh, you guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the Mono Cubs, but finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. Finding other people. Oh well. I got no idea what's going on, but or what this might mean, but that's right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! We're fucking lovable and shit, except Monodom, of course. Hey, hey! Oh. Do you know what else this means? Ching. Now that the Monocubs are back, I've got XXL Entourage protecting me again. You want to defy me now? This is bad. If he's got the Exosols again, so what? I won't let you it kill doesn't him. Doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaido. I'll fight until the end. <sighs> Stop. Even if you fight the Exosols, you'll get killed. Damn it! The remote control in the last or in the. And the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. 
No. No, I won't give up. You... Maki roll. You... Enough already. I... I never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. Huh? huh? And I never have been given the nickname like Maki Roll before either. What? You. I... And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. <laughs> and I've never fallen for someone before. What? Maki Roll. Maki. No. I... I don't want this to end. I, I just don't. I won't let you kill That's him. That's why I won't let you kill Kaido. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki roll. I'm sorry, but that's not an option. I don't have much time left. As, or I don't have as much time left as you think. <sighs> I'm just fighting to stay standing. I... But I... Hey, so... Hey, Maki roll. I asked you before. What's your enemy? Before, you hated yourself so much. You didn't even like yourself a little. And wasn't that the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore. Huh. You're alright now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. How could you learn to like yourself? Or now can you learn to like... Or now you can learn to like yourself. Come on, man. Hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with at least one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not going to allow any tears. I'm already failing that, but it's fine. I knew I was going to. Send me off with a bang. Uh, okay. All right, Crydo. I won't cry. Gamer won't promise that because, yeah, I can't, but it's fine. I'll endure it. Me too. I'm going to hold it in. Yeah, I'll endure it. I... I can't cry even if I wanted to. Sometimes, I wish. But, you know, that doesn't happen for me. <sighs> sorry about that. Or, sorry about the wait, Marakuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do! Dong, dong, dong. Oh boy, my first punishment time! I've never seen one before, Papa! Hey! But let me just say this. Uh, to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. You better get ready. My friends aren't gonna lose to you. Ugh. That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. I want to make sure I didn't like miss any other. Okay, no, it was just Monotaro. Cool, cool, cool. Please do not worry. We'll end it. So please don't worry. Shuichi. And Shuichi, never forget that you're not alone. You have friends. Don't try and do everything yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaido. Okay. The impossible Don't forget. Is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Thanks, Kaido. Maki roll. Maki roll. How long are you gonna cry? You should smile. Sorry. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course. My bad. For making you cry like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's end this with a bang. A special punishment of the stars. suited for the luminary of the stars. Okay, okay. Psh, you don't gotta tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Get oh yeah. Well, screw you. I don't. Uh, I'm not gonna die the way you want. It's punishment time. Interesting callback. Blast off for the second ignition. Okay, that's funny. They they knew they were calling it back. What? Oh no.
Error confirm. Execution failed. What? Are you okay? You got hit with debris when you protect. Well. I'm fine. More importantly. Hey! What's the matter, Monokuma? <laughs> I'm set the kind of one. Huh? <laughs> what do you mean, kind of one? Because. He died before the end of your punishment. Kaido didn't die from your execution. Okay. That's right. Kaido wasn't killed by you. Yeah. It's Kaido's victory. <gasps> we lost. I don't know what he meant to do, or if he meant to do it, but he certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever. It's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah! Hell yeah, no shit! Ain't, in, her ain't it in writing in the school regulations? Right. The killing game will go on until there is one blackened or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations. So you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well... Uh, I just want an entertaining killing game! Uh, but you certainly are entitled to your opinion! That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaido. I will end this killing That's game. It. And give Kaido's death meaning. I swear I will keep that promise. You're right! Yeah. We're not going to let anyone else die. <laughs> Who is even going to play the killing game anymore? It's already over. Mm. You can cut this tension with a knife. What is everyone talking about anyway? Actually... Feels like I stumbled into the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Pops. Yeah, you kind of been dead for like five chapters. Yo, Pops, you want to fill us in? You want to help us out? Oh, Matsuke is acting nice. He's sucking up for the brownie points! So oh, cute. I just can't help myself around my cute little cubs. Oh, Gather around, kids. I'll spend or I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. <gasps> a whole month! Won't that take longer than a whole chapter though? My I'll tell you about it while I smother you in hugs and kisses. You kids go ahead and wait for me at home. So long, farewell! Hmm. Why did I stay behind? Oh, because I want to give you a little reward for working so hard. Ooh. We don't want it. Just go away. You're really bugging me. By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that the killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end the killing game. <sighs> no way. Nuh uh. This game is going to keep going and going for a long time. During his ranting, Monokuma took out. Huh? Flashback light. What? What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> Whew. This flashback light had a special effect. You'll remember soon enough. You'll remember this despair that is the only choice you have. Yahoo! And that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> the killing game will never end. And then Monokuma left. He declared the killing game would continue. He declared there is no hope. After all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had to accept the, uh, the reality that Kaido was gone. And not just Kaido. Kokichi too. 
Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we drew, we're drawing even closer to discovering the true mastermind. What? And she's... There's no way she's still alive. The killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as I keep it... Or as long as... It's fun, we have to keep doing it. It's that simple. Or it's that simple supply and demand. <laughs> well, that wasn't her voice. <laughs> Such despair. Later that night, I found myself standing in the one spot in the courtyard. The place where Kaido and I would train together. My heart felt crushed, all the loss and guilt, the helplessness sinking in my chest. But still I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Ah! Oh. Maki! Hey! So you came too? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaido, or drove Kaido into a corner. Just like Kaede, I... I ended up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now, now that Kaido's gone? Uh, okay. Yeah. Lonely. I... I feel so lonely and so sad. I... I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaido. If he hadn't been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaido. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah. I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely. I'm grateful to him. That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm going. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who's passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Huh? Ah. So you guys are were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Jeez. I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell in, or I cast a spell to find you. Oh. Samuki? Himiko? Um, um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training today? Huh? <laughs> I'll train you for all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaido. Okay. Yeah. We're going to do what we promised and work together to end this killing game. All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Monokuma said there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. Kaido said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have my friends. Not just my friends here. But also my friends who died. They gave us their hope too. And that's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaido. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Mamota, 
Luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey! Oh, by the way. Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo. Oh, I don't know. Uh... Yeah, what is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But, but the rest of us are here. I kind of wish you'd come too. It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Oh. Even if despair is all we have to choose. Even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. What the heck? I will destroy it. Voyage without passion or purpose. Chapter 5. Surviving members down to 5. Galactic Jacket has been obtained as a present. Do you want to save? Of course. And in the next episode... Oh. We gotta let us save. Come on. In the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we're gonna go ahead and tackle chapter 6. That's crazy. This is the final chapter of the series. Um... And there's so much to be discovered, so much things to happen. And this is what I get to leave off of after my vacation. So when I get back, I have a whole like 11 days to stew on this and I don't know how to feel about it, but it's fine. It's going to be my classic tag phrase for a long time, but it's fine. Anyway, I love you all. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you.